Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I'm responding to a request by FSR, and um, he was asking how to set up a home web server or a file server um, that you can develop on and run locally. So um, for this tutorial, we're actually going to use a program called um, WAMP, and what this actually means is Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So Apache is the um, ability to run a web server and HTTP HTML files. Um, MySQL is a database that you'll be using. So for example, if you want to run WordPress or something, it uses a MySQL database to store all that information. And then PHP is another um, syntax or programming language that allows us to use some more dynamic scripting. Um, and it's uh, a standard in today's web development. So um, this is a great way to practice your scripting without having to get a web server. You can actually run it locally on your own computer or even run a website from your own computer and um, point a domain name to your IP address if you want to. But let's go ahead and start with the basics and install the WAMP package or the WAMP stack as they call it. And um, let's go ahead and click on WAMP. And uh, let's go to the installers. And we're gonna download Windows 64-bit. And I'll go ahead and uh, click on No Thanks, just take me to the download. And here is our Bitnami web stack. So let's go ahead and open that up. And Bitnami makes it very, very simple to um, go through the entire installation very quickly. So let's go ahead and minimize this to get rid of all the clutter. And uh, let's go through the setup. So welcome to the wizard, we hit next. These are all of the uh, components that we can install. Um, if we don't want to install them, we don't have to. Um, I recommend at least PHP my admin and they don't um, actually let you take that off because this is a great um, administration service to um, actually edit your SQL databases. Um, the rest of these are optional, but they don't take up much space. So I would go ahead and leave those checked in case you ever decide you'd like to use them. Uh, some application packages require things like the Zen framework, so um, you might want to have that installed just in case. If you're looking for a very light package, you can definitely uncheck these and install them back later. So then this is going to be your um, installation location. We'll leave that as default on the C drive. And then here we can enter a um, user password. So I'm going to make it something easy but um, definitely, actually, let's go ahead and make it an actual nice password. <laughs> okay, so only alphanumeric, so. It has to be alphanumeric and at least six letters long, so. we go and um, do we want to launch our WAMP stack in the cloud uh, this is new server applications and development stacks are created and deployed in the cloud with over a million no we don't want to deploy on the cloud because we want to run this locally that was the entire point of the video so we'll uncheck that and then hit next to install it to our computer Thank you again, FSR, for um, recommending this video. This is a great way to share files with friends as well. You can just set up a local server. You can put up a little web page. You can put up all your local files. You don't have to upload them anywhere. You just say, I'm going to drop it into my HTTP folder and... Um, add a link to it, and they can download it directly from your computer. It might not be the fastest thing, but if you have a really fast connection like I do, it might actually be faster than uh, renting a server. All right, so you're going to want to make sure to click on Allow on any of the security prompts that come up, and as long as you've done that, you should get this um, launch Bitnami web stack. So let's go ahead and hit Finish. 
we are given a welcome page. So uh, we can go ahead and open the graphical manager tool. Um, if we click on this, it doesn't work, but that's okay because we're going to go directly into our drive. So let's go into our C drive, Bitnami, Lamp Stack, and then here we have our manager. We're going to open up our um, manager here and we can manage our servers and we can see that Apache is running and MySQL is running. So uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, PHP MyAdmin to make sure that's working. And yep, we have a nice little local server. Let's go ahead and go to our address, which is uh, 127.0.0.1. And this is the um, actual address page that we're getting. So if you want to um, edit that, we're going to go to Apache 2, and we're going to go to htdocs, and uh, here's the index.php. So let's go ahead and open this with Notepad. <laughs> if you have an actual um, editor, that would probably be ideal, but we're just going to do this in Notepad because everyone has Notepad, and honestly, I kind of like Notepad. Uh, so let's go ahead and make some edits to this. So um, we want this to be our own web page, right? So let's just start it from scratch. So we're going to type in HTML and then head and then title um, our personal local website slash title. And then that'll end our head tag. And then we'll start our body tag. And uh, let's go ahead and type a div align equals center. And this will align our um, text in the center. And we're going to type in hello world. And we'll end our div there. And then we're going to end our body tag. And we're going to end our HTML tag. This is a super basic HTML page, but let's just make sure that our local web server is working. And if we press enter, we see right in the center, hello world. So now we've set up our own um, HTML, PHP, um, and MySQL web stack. So let's go ahead and take a look at PHP MyAdmin. So let's go ahead and type in forward slash PHP MyAdmin. And the username for this by default is going to be root. And then the password is whatever password you put in at the beginning of the installation. Once you hit go, you'll be logged into the actual um, databases in your MySQL server. So now we've seen that um, PHP is working, HTML is working, and MySQL is working on the proper ports. Um, web is port 80 and SQL is 3306. Um, so yeah, that's about it. The folder that you're going to be working in is Apache 2 forward slash htdocs. And this is where all of your files are going to go. If you want to install something like WordPress, you just download the WordPress um, files, extract them into this folder, and then continue the installation as if it were its own web server. Um, I'll probably make another video on how to attach a domain name to your computer if you want to um, forward um, an actual address so people can visit your computer as a website. But this is just kind of for local testing. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.